throw in for Mansfield. Benning throws it down the line towards Reed. The ball comes straight back to Benning. Benning clips it down the line. Bowery heads it inside to Reed. Reed can't get there. It's cleared away. Only as far as Maris. And then Maris finds Perch in space, just inside the Vale half. Perch coming forward. He's got Charlesley outside him, plays it to Charlesley on the right hand side, level with the edge of the area. Ball inside to Lapsley. Lapsley inside the area. Lapsley tries close to cross it in. Reed back to goal. Reed turns. Charlesley goes down the area. Referee says penalty. Charlesley is tripped inside the area. And Mansfield have a penalty. But Montano not happy with that decision. But uh, Charlesley's been tripped in the area. And with uh, 14 and a half minutes to go, the Stags have a penalty. Well, the referee was very close to that. No hesitation in pointing to. Uh I'll say the spot, not that we can really see the penalty spot, but a uh, massive opportunity for a third goal here. Uh, Jordan Bowery is uh, going to take the penalty. Bowery has scored three times in his last three games, and here he has a chance for another from the penalty spot. So Jordan Bowery against Scott Brown. Here comes Bowery, and he sends Brown the wrong way and slides it into the bottom left hand corner of the net. And with 77 minutes gone at the one Call Stadium, it is Mansfield Town 3, Port Vale nil. Super finish, super penalty there from Jordan Barry. Really cool, low, bottom left corner. Super finish, very different from his penalty earlier on this season. It's in the back of the net. Well done, Jordan. So that's four and three. Real cool, calm penalty kick. 